Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at Judges chapter 16. What is your Delilah? <laughs> Judges 16 verses 4 to 6 introduces us to the woman. That would be Samson's downfall. And yes, her name was Delilah. Here we go. After this, it came about that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. The lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Entice him, and see where his great strength lies, and how we may overpower him, that we may bind him to afflict him. Then we will each give you eleven hundred pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength is, and how you may be bound to afflict you. So Samson fell in love with a seedy woman. And while the Bible gives us Delilah's motivation from the get-go, Samson seemed to be unaware of her intentions, or at least blinded to them by his infatuation with her. His romantic involvement prevented him from seeing straight. They do say love is blind, but in this case, it wasn't love. Rather, it was lust. And lust is a counterfeit an enemy's smokescreen to obscure the battlefield. Delilah is not subtle about her efforts to sell Samson to his enemies, the Philistines, for riches beyond anything she would ever be able to earn in her nightly activities. In fact, when you read Judges 16 verses 6 to 20, you just want to pull Samson aside and talk some sense into him. Every time she asked him how to bind his strength, the very next scene is his enemies doing it to him. Ha! Go get it! Yet Samson, in all of his pride, kept returning to Delilah. What is your Delilah? <laughs> what do you keep returning to even though you know it is seeking to steal, kill, and destroy you? <laughs> Seize the moment and break up with your Delilah. <laughs> Flee immorality and pursue righteousness. Seize the moment.